Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. This is Stacey. I'm back for another video. And yes, I'm back for more unboxing for you guys. I've mentioned before that I have Macy's order coming. And I think I ordered this not Black Friday, like after Black Friday. I put my order December 7th. And finally, they're like coming in. They were not shipped at the same time. They're like different days they were they were shipped even if it's not black friday sale or cyber monday sale i got some items for a good deal from macy's uh, mostly they are bags as you know i do bag unboxing videos um right now i received three items and one bag one in this pouch i think i have an idea what's in here and this box this is not a bag so, if you want to see what I got from Macy's, please keep on watching. But before we start, welcome. I'm Tracy. I do bag unboxing videos, sometimes first impression review videos, and once in a while, I do upload vlog videos. If you happen to like my channel, please consider subscribing. And for all who already subscribed, thank you so much for coming back and for your support. Now, let's proceed to the unboxing. Let's start with the small one. I know I ordered a necklace. I'm not really looking for a necklace. But then when I'm about to check out, you know when they post like some deals, if you purchase a certain amount, something like that. So this one showed up on like the recommendation and it was priced um, cheaper than the no like normal price is $200 but this one was priced at $27. I just checked the website this is currently $60 so I guess I got a good deal for this one. This is the item Yeah, it just looks like this from the pouch my return um, my return sticker and the necklace the necklace looks good on the website so I ordered it so this is it look at that it's silver and it has gold let me look at my order I'm going to wear my glasses it is a Macy's diamond heart 18 pendant necklace sterling silver so i paid 27.99 plus tax and let's take a look at this one so it didn't even come with a box you know like some jewelry when you order them usually it comes with a jewelry box but this one is just a plastic like when you go to tj maxx and you buy like michael kors or kate spade or other jewelry that they sell usually they give you a box so here it is Oh, it's lightweight. Very lightweight. This is what it looks like. I like it. It's a heart. Now I'm wearing glasses. I can see it really well. So it has a heart. It has some gemstones on it. But I'm not sure. But look at the side. It's like hollow. Like look at the back. It is like hollow at the side. I don't know how I feel about this necklace, but for $27, is that a good price? It's only one length. You cannot make it longer, or, nor you can make it shorter. Let's just wear it. Yeah, $200 is the price for this one. But I bought Michael Kors jewelries from TJ Maxx, and I like their, um, their jewel jewelry. It doesn't tarnish. Even if I take a shower and wear the earrings it doesn't tarnish there you go it's lightweight this is a michael kors necklace and it has a good weight to it weight like substantial weight to the pendant this one is lightweight and see i think i paid almost the same price as a michael kors because uh, you can find good um price at tj maxx for their Michael Kors jewelry. So yeah, that's for our first item. The Macy's Diamond Necklace. Now let's proceed to our box. This one is not a bag. As you can see, the sticker, it says Godiva. 
so it's Christmas season and I saw this one also on the recommendations and it's a good price I hope I'm not sure I don't normally buy chocolate because I'm not a chocolate eater I'm more of like sour salty kind of foods not really for sweet food so this one was priced at $20 so this is what I have is this a cheap price for a Godiva chocolate $20 let me know um, let me check what the price normally for this one yeah this is priced at $19.99 right now on the website it's $24.46 and regular price is $34.95 so I guess this is a good deal oh this is uh, 50 pieces chocolate I don't want to open it because if I'm going to give this a gift then it will ruin the packaging but I guess we can open it yeah I think we can open it let's I'm curious to see what it looks like oh so that's what it looks like inside there's no like like nice cups with the chocolate that you can see is packaged individually so which is good it's more sanitary that is packaged um, individually so yes that's it for our second item for the Macy's haul my Godiva chocolate now let's proceed to our main event but I'm surprised Macy's why would you send a bag on a pouch and then a chocolate on a nice box right so hopefully the condition of this bag is good if not then this will be a return like i can feel no like there's no protection inside like no air paper whatsoever it doesn't feel protected inside so hopefully i will like it here you go look at that <laughs> look at that Macy's oh this is my receipt just like that attached to the tag price so this is the bag coach leather crossbody camera bag with fashion strap in the color watermelon I like the strap the reason why I ordered this one is because of the strap that it came with I think it came it has two straps for this bag but I'm not sure oh yeah it has two straps see there's the leather strap and then it has a guitar strap this was on sale I can't remember the discount for this item but it seems like it's 60% off at that time and plus I used a Rakuten I think at that time the Rakuten rebate was 10% so I got 10% extra discount for this bag so yes, this is in the color watermelon. It seems similar to the confetti color for Coach. Yeah, but not too fond of the color. But there's a black one, but it's priced like higher. I think it's almost $200. This one was, I think, $120 something without tax. I don't know why they changed the name to watermelon, but it's similar to the confetti. This one has that gold brassy hardware. And let's do a 360 look at this bag. Let me remove the packaging inside first. This one comes with a dust bag. I'm surprised. So this one didn't come in uh, brand new from the factory, but it's not in bad condition to think that this was not packaged properly. So let's do a 360 look at this bag. So this is the front. This is the side. It has a hand tag. This is the back. It has a pocket and the side it's like an oval bag camera bag and the bottom looks like this so the front of the bag has turn lock closure like that and let's see if my phone can fit i have an iphone uh, 13 pro max with a rexy phone holder <laughs> i don't know what the name of that barely i wouldn't push it because of the turn lock closure here I don't want to ruin my phone but uh, probably a smaller phone will fit so I have an iPhone 8 here 8 plus if it will fit in here 
yes it does fit iphone 8 plus can fit i guess it's more like if it's a slimmer phone or the regular not the plus phone it can fit at the front and then at the back it has a magnetic closure slip pocket now we can try this one because it has no like metal hardware in there so let's try my phone if it will fit okay it's a tight squeeze in there but it did fit so regular size phone most likely will fit in there it's just harder to remove probably let's see if it's on a vertical position how it will look like it will look like that so yeah if you have a smaller phone then that can fit at the slip pocket so let's take a look at the inside of the bag the inside is fabric lined with a card case pocket and at the back it has one slip pocket with a coach screen and that's about it and let's see how it looks like with the phone inside it looks like so let's grab a full-size wallet so how it looks like I have here a Louis Vuitton Sarah wallet uh, let's try it on this bag if it will fit uh, you have to put it at an angle but it does no not really <laughs> it doesn't really fit you need a card case for this one not for full-size wallet maybe a slimmer wallet will fit the zipper opening will scratch your wallet i will not be able to close the bag so let's try a slim wallet if it will fit so i have a coach trifold slim wallet let's try it if it will fit yeah the slim wallet will fit in there look at that no problem putting it in and taking it out i have a mini pochette let's see if it will fit in there a mini pochette will fit uh now now so that's what it looks like this part the corner part will be like fold in so i wouldn't really use my mini pochette on that so yes let's take a look at the straps that this bag came with oh it has an extra leather detail on the zipper closure so let's take a look at the straps for this bag I like this one so the strap is adjustable for the like you know the fabric the woven fabric strap like the seat belt kind of material this one is thick good material they use to this so let's look at the strap it has the coach word on the whole strap and it has that rust color with the middle the watermelon lining and I there's another one it seems like probably purple or brown i can't really tell with the light right now so and it's adjustable which is nice and let's take a look at the leather strap of this bag so this is now the leather strap that it came with it's thin it has five adjustments with grommets look at that i like that kind of um like adjustment on the back both uh straps are detachable which is nice so whatever your mood is you can interchange the straps so this is our haul for today um let's do a quick try on on this bag so at least you have an idea how it looks like oh here is the bag where is a safe shoulder bag so now i change it to the woven strap let's try it on this one is on the shortest setting so this is how it looks like it's easy to adjust the length shoulder bag crossbody bag on the shorter setting I've seen people wear their crossbody bag like that I'm 
let's make it longer. So that's how it looks like as a crossbody bag. So let's adjust it to the longest setting. Adjusting it to the shortest setting is a little <laughs> difficult. I guess the end part because it's leather and the uh, one that holds the uh, strap is also leather so it's a little hard but then yes this is how it looks like worn on the longest setting as a cross by the bag. It's a little bit small for me, but probably if it's a little bigger that can fit a full size wallet, that would be better. That's it for our unboxing video for today. This is a coach crossbody camera bag with fashion strap in the color watermelon and I have the necklace with me and the Godiva chocolate. I hope you like this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to hit that notification bell button so you get updated every time I upload a new video. Until next time, thank you for watching. Bye! See you on my next video.